who is Kape Petumi. He was someone who inspired me to continue in law school and become a lawyer after I read his letter to his son, Popoy. It resolved a lot of my own misgivings about learning the law that the dictator had perverted. Kapepe's letter gave me a perspective about law and lawyering that allowed me to consider how I could best help when I became a lawyer, which is what led me to join FLAG right after I graduated from law school. That was 32 years ago. My fondest memories of Kapepe? I never had the opportunity to work with him as a lawyer, but I did have the opportunity to meet him once. I was a paralegal while I was in law school, and I was asked by someone, I don't remember now who, to give a document to Kapepe at his then residence, 55 Third Street, New Manila. When I got there, I was received by Kanena, Kapepe's gracious wife, who asked me typically if I had already eaten. And then I met Kapepe, who came in. I was so starstruck, I don't remember if I even said anything other than my name and handing over the envelope to him. He did ask me what I did, and I replied that I was a law student. And then he smiled and said, good. Lessons learned from Kapepe? Aside from developmental legal assistance, which is the founding principle of FLAG, which I still practice to this day, I learned a lot from Kapepe, reading his speeches, going over his trial forms, and using them as my own in my own practice, Reviewing even now the blurry BBC documentary that he gave in the middle of martial law to sing our own song, I learned from Kapepe about love for country and for its people. I learned how important it is to be able to assert our sovereignty and to fight for it with everything that I had, the same way that Kapepe fought for our sovereignty and freedoms with everything he had. I learned that there is still so much good that I can do but that I have to start with being good myself. I remember Kapepe writing once, Who you are speaks so loudly, I cannot hear a word you say. Finally, I learned from Kapepe that it is important to persevere, that the change we want to bring about does not come quickly, and that it is something that we need to work on constantly and consistently. In one speech, when he spoke about the Filipino concept of justice, he ended that speech by paraphrasing Nikos Kasansakis, substituting justice for freedom. And he said, The superior virtue is not to receive justice. It is to fight relentlessly for it, to struggle for justice in time, yet under the aspect of eternity. 